If you're like most people, you are probably quite familiar with Wikipedia. It's one of the world's most visited websites, has over 500 million readers each and every month. In my experience, both college students and even professors use Wikipedia as a key information source. In fact, I even used it to help prepare for this video. However, if you're like most of our students, you've read lots of Wikipedia articles, but haven't written any. Thus, you have used user-generated content, but haven't actually created it. This exercise will give you a chance to do just this. Wikipedia was launched in 2001, the goal providing a free online encyclopedia in which entries can be made by anyone and are unsolicited. This was a dramatic departure from traditional encyclopedias like the Encyclopedia Britannica, which solicited entries from recognized experts like scientists and professors. Since its launch, Wikipedia has experienced tremendous growth and currently has over 35 million entries across over 300 different languages. To provide a sense of perspective, this is about the amount of knowledge contained in roughly 15,000 volumes of a printed encyclopedia. Now, although Wikipedia is not a traditional firm, it is a very large organization and has many firm-like characteristics, such as a multi-level management system, it develops new product offerings, and engages in marketing activity. In addition, Wikipedia is a strong global brand that depends heavily on user-generated content to survive. Thus, it's a great example for this exercise. Now here's what you need to do to complete this Wikipedia exercise. First of all, go to Wikipedia. Once you're there, you'll notice there's lots of different language options. Pick your favorite. I'll pick English. If you look carefully, you'll see there's a Help tab on the left. This will give you some information about how to edit an article. You might find that helpful. Also, if you have a Wikipedia account already, you should log in. Or you may want to create an account. You don't have to. It's optional but usually edits that have an account behind them are more likely to be successful. I'm going to risk it and not log in. Uh, now, the most important step is to simply find a topic that you would like to edit. In my case, I'm going to um, make some edits to our college, the Geese College of Business. Just type that in the uh, search tab. Oh, there it is. It pops up. If you look carefully on the upper top of the page, there's an edit tab. Hit that and you'll see the Wikipedia switches to an HTML format, which is a bit cumbersome but fairly easy to navigate. And you would find the entry you would like to modify. In this case, I'm going to um, modify this entry about this naming gift that we received of $150 million back in October 2017 from uh, Larry and Beth Gies. I noticed the entry doesn't have their name in it, so I'm just going to add their name. So by Larry and Beth Gies, two wonderful people. And we'll take a quick preview. And there it is. If you look carefully, you'll see that um, that change was made to that, but it wasn't published. So I will go back there, go back there, and simply hit Publish Changes. And I have now engaged in a small amount of user-generated content. Pretty easy. Now, after you make this change, uh, please wait 24 hours and come back and see if it's stuck. I hope it does. Now here's your assignment. First of all, please record your Wikipedia entry. 
both the name and the URL. Second, tell us why you decided to make an entry about this topic in particular. Third, what happened to the content that you contributed? Is it still there? Did it disappear? Finally, what did you learn from this exercise? Well, that's it. I look forward to reading your Wikipedia entry.